Hello, everybody. We're coming to you guys today from Epcot at the Festival of the Arts. We're going to be walking around. Last week, if you guys joined us, we went from Canada up to the American Adventure, taking a look at some of the artwork that is found around here, or the hidden characters that are found around here. Today, we're going to be doing the same thing, we're going from Mexico up to Italy. So we are starting here in Mexico. This is Dante from Coco. So Dante has two forms. He's got the regular dog form. And then we're going to have to go down and around. Over on the other side here, we got Dante again. And here we have Dante in the spirit dog form. And this is better lighting than I've ever seen him. Let me get a picture here real quick too. Now the thing is, this festival, we've been finding more and more hidden characters as the festival's gone on. So I think there is a chance that we might be missing some still. We've only got about a week left of the festival though. So in order to find the rest, I guess we'll just have to come to Epcot every day. I'm not sure whether they would throw here in Epcot or in Mexico. Whether it would be, I think the Heracon bird would actually make sense. He made appearances in the three caballeros and saludos amigos. Hello everyone who's joining us right now. So we are making our way around World Showcase, taking a look at some of the hidden characters that are found throughout here during the Festival of the Arts. Okay, our next stop is going to be here in Norway. Obviously the most famous Disney film that is set in Norway is Frozen, or Frozen 2. And to celebrate Frozen, we've actually got a reference to the Frozen short cartoon, Frozen Ever After. This came out a few years after Frozen. It's going to be right up here. We've got the Snowies. These guys actually appear in the attraction, too. And then the other one's going to be found right around the corner here. Over by the dining area. Over here we got the fireplace. And if you look inside the fireplace, we got Bruni from Frozen 2. So ironically, we do not have any characters from the original Frozen. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start making our way over to China. This guy's there talking about paying to get into Garden of the Galaxy for lighting lane. over to China. China has, has a few different characters that are kind of scattered around the pavilion. We'll start with the ones that are on the outside of the pavilion. Not on the outside, but close to the outside. We've seen faster walkers here. What are you up, people? We need to find all the characters. I know, I've, I 
need to update more of my equipment. I just need more money in order to do it. Mushu and Cricky. From Mulan, of course. This isn't the only Mulan characters we have, though. If we also make our way up towards the back section of the pavilion. Find a little brother from the exact same film. Let's make our way up there. People are sitting in front of it. We will not be able to see it. It's literally on the bench here. These people are over here. It's his little brother from Mulan as well. So we won't be able to see it here. So we'll make our way to the next one. Little brother was not there for the first two weeks of the festival. They just added him last week, I think it was. Maybe it was two weeks ago. He's one of those ones that we looked for on the first day. Unfortunately, he was not here. There's a few other characters that have not been around throughout the festival. few other ones that have not been around but every single time I'm over here I do check them every single time uh, for instance we have Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed have over been at the uh, African Outpost every single year for the festival except for the first year uh, they have not been over here at the African Outpost this year at all as far as I've seen Good at the same time. Doesn't hurt to look. So if you're here during the festival there, it's the first year here in the African Outpost section of the park. They used to have Timon and Pumbaa along the wall, and then they disappeared because they were at ground level and people kept them picking at them. So then this year, or then the next year, we get a Chenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. They had them right up here, but they're not up here at all this year. I've checked every single day over here, and sadly, they are not up here this year at all. Alright, so we're going to make our way to Germany. Over in Germany, we've got two old ones. we got one new one. Uh, the two old ones are both Pascal, Pascal and Pascal. There used to be three Pascals. I'm assuming they got rid of one of them to make way for the new character. Because the new character is on the same part of the 
or not the same part of the building, but he's on the same face of the building that's looking out towards the crowd. So I think they figured they have two characters there. It might be overkill. Apparently the girl who is singing right there is the German voice actor for Snow White. I don't know if that's true or not. Someone was saying that the other day. It would be very cool if it is. Okay, here we are in the Germany Pavilion. So the first one we're taking a look at is the new one. It's Spike the Bee. These are right up there at the top. In the different uh, cartoons. If you ever go to the Flower and Garden Festival, then you've probably seen Spike the Bee around a lot. Spike the Bee does a um, they do a search and climb with him. There used to be Pascal on the bottom part of that building. They got rid of that this year for no reason whatsoever. But we still have two other Pascals here. We got one Pascal hidden here in the clocks and crap sign. And then in addition to that, we have another Pascal from here around the corner here. a sun on the wall, happy as can be. Do I have any more videos of me leaving place on the Disney Fantasy? Uh, I might have one more, I have to look. I'm still uploading videos from the Fantasy, slowly but surely. Um, but I think that might be the last one that I have, just the one of us leaving Jamaica. <laughs> I know for Castaway Key this time, we kind of just took it in the sights and sounds, because I had done a video of us leaving Castaway Key the time before on the Disney Wish. And then... Um, Cosmo, I don't think we did. And Grant came in. I think I might actually have. I'll have to look through my, my footage. Right, we're coming to our last of the pavilions here. The Italy Pavilion. Here at the Italy Pavilion, we're going to have two different sets of characters. And one is going to be from the 2021 film, Luca. It was going to be from the 1940 film, Pinocchio. And ironically, like, they're both right around the corner from each other. Well, like I was saying earlier, a lot of these characters probably are going to be coming and going. There might be other ones that are hidden throughout the festival. We just found last week some new ones 
over the UK Pavilion that were not there a few weeks before. So uh, there's people in front of this one right now, so we come right to this one. We'll go around the corner here. Up here we have Jiminy Cricket. this broadcast up right here thank you everyone for joining us today i hope you guys enjoyed our little walk around as always if you're not already subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe if you've not checked out our brand new youtube video today we did a fun find that's over at backlot express over at disney's hollywood studio so make sure you check that out as well until next time i hope everyone out there is having a super califragilistic expialidocious type of weekend and we'll see you guys all a little later Boo -boo.